Are swimming pools hard to take care of? I mean, the, the short answer is no, not really, but that comes after the learning curve. The learning curve at first is kind of steep. You got to know a bunch of different stuff. Like, I mean, heck, you got to learn chemistry. And for most people, that's a big deal. And that's just one little bit. You also have to learn maintenance cycles and filtration and all this other stuff. And the, the, price that you pay is pretty steep if you do something wrong. I mean, you could get sick from the water or you could potentially cause some stains or maybe even damage something integral with the pool because you weren't using it properly or interacting with it properly or monitoring it properly. And so pools can be hard to take care of especially if you take them for granted. If you kind of going in, go into it thinking like, ah, I barely even care about this thing. I'm not going to put any time to study it or learn about it. You're probably going to have a bad time because there's a lot to know and it's going to overwhelm you and you're not going to do it properly most likely and something's going to go wrong. It'll end up costing you more money. And this is kind of where the origin of like the swimming pool nightmare stereotype comes from. It comes from these pools that weren't cared for properly and people who genuinely didn't appreciate just how much they were getting into with the swimming pool ownership. So that being said, is it hard? It's not hard. Once the learning curve is over and you've been a pool owner for a while, you won't sweat it at all. You will hardly spend any time at all taking care of your pool, but you have to get to that point first. There's going to be some ups and downs and you definitely, as I said, you have to learn, learn some stuff like chemistry and maintenance cycles and things like that. Uh, but once you've gotten past that, you'll find that it's it's hardly a chore at all. You just kind of do it as you're outside doing something and you'll have minimized things like water chemistry. You won't be running to the pool and hot tub store every day testing your water chemistry, trying to solve problems because you won't have problems because you'll be ahead of those problems because there's just not that much to know. And again, when things are going smoothly, then really it takes very little time at all. The time that it takes to skim and vacuum at most, you know, a little bit of chemical maintenance, periodic filter maintenance. These are kind of the extent of it. And for most people that amounts to a little more than a few minutes a day or half an hour or an hour a week. It's not a lot at all, but you have to get through the learning curve first. If you found this information helpful, please be sure to like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And you can check out my website, swimmingpoolsteve.com.